There's so many ducks. It's crazy. Right, I was born up in Wolverhampton and I lived here. Right, so here is where I lived, Clayton Villa, number nine St. Jude Road. That is where I had my first job. That's where I had my first job, as a chef. Yeah, it's true, I was a chef. Whoa. Okay, so I've come to Wolverhampton to see all these things that I used to do or love or whatever. Uh, met up with some friends and stuff, and now I'm gonna get some food. I'm in the New Bridge. Uh, it is the New Bridge, isn't it? Yeah, it's the New Bridge. Uh, and I'm just gonna get some food because I'm starving. Hank, Marvin, and I need to eat, obviously, like everyone. Or could do we? Uh, I'm feeling a bit better. Um, still scared about surgery, still scared about all that stuff, but you know, what, what's a fella to do? You just gotta carry on, ain't you? You gotta carry on. Waiting for a bus, waiting for a bus, waiting for a bus on the way to the town. Because everyone loves it when I uh, take my medication and I'm a bit hyperactive and high. Um, bus timetable. Mm. Love it. Flowers. Flowers. It's the only low point of being banned from driving. I have to get buses. Bus, bus, bus. I'm in Wolverhampton, I'm just reminiscing old times and I've just come through the town and everything and on these steps is where a load of me and my friends sat when one of my good friends Nick passed away uh, and we all uh, just chilled out. I don't talk about my past in my vlog very often because the old me is the old me, that's it. Things I got up to were pretty bad, pretty naughty, uh, but I was young. Um, I don't think there's any place for me to really talk about this until I'm ready to talk about it. So, yeah, I just wanted to go through everything that I enjoyed through my time. And now I'm going to go to one of the other pubs that I used to get drunk in. Uh, enjoy. I love playing a game, so let's play the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, in glasses, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, dirty smokers. I hope you put your fag butts in an ashtray. Dirty, dirty bastards. Where's the record button? Okay. Oh. You got you, you got to add those comedy elements in for people, ain't you? You you've got to make uh, what is a sad story quite entertaining if you possibly can, and um, that's what I'm trying to do. And pull faces at the camera. <laughs> right. Right. So, what was I going to say? I've completely gone blank. Fudge. So I've enjoyed my trip to Wolverhampton, somewhere I haven't been in quite a while. Um, really strange being here, a mixed bag of emotions, mixed uh, bag of feelings and things like that. And yeah, reminiscing life in Wolverhampton is kind of strange for me, especially as some of the stuff I did here wasn't particularly good stuff and some of it was heartbreakingly horrible. Um, <laughs> Third time's a charm, police keep going by. 
Um, I don't feel very well now. My medication's now hitting me quite hard. Uh, I'm knackered from going around all day, which you probably see in my face. Um, so I'm going to head off. But I, I've really enjoyed my time in Wolverhampton and everything I'm doing here and reminiscing stuff that I went through as a kid or like lived with. Um, it's just really strange how I've come from some annoying little kid um, and annoying adult uh, to become someone who, who's completely different. Um, but I think it's, a, it's way better. Uh, way nicer, way, way better me, human. Hu I'm a better human, aren't I? Yes, you are. <laughs> I am a better human, according to public, uh, public uh, opinion there. Uh, I'm a better human, so it's, it's a good thing, but yeah, I'm knackered, so I'm gonna go, and that's it. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye! <laughs>